Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about a new topic on refrigeration. So, in the coming videos, we'll be discussing on the topic of refrigeration. So, let's begin with the introduction on refrigeration. So, what is refrigeration? Okay, so refrigeration is basically it is a process of extracting heat from a lower temperature source or from a substance. Okay, so note that it is a process of extracting heat from a lower temperature source or from a substance or or from any cooling medium and we transfer it to a higher temperature heat sink. Okay, so uh, in the coming videos, we'll be discussing in detail on refrigeration. So you will have a, a more clear idea. So do subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification on my coming videos too. So and now coming to the applications on refrigeration. Okay, so what are the applications? Okay, it is basically we all know that it is on food processing. It is for comfort air conditioning, which is split ACs that we use is all basically the process of refrigeration. And it can be used in chemical and processing industries. Okay. Now, an important thing to note is that. Now, an important uh, thing to note is that the difference between refrigeration and cooling. Okay, so basically everybody, every student thinks that uh, refrigeration and cooling are, be, are, are the same, but it is not. Okay, now what is cooling? Okay, cooling means if I take for an example, uh, if I have a, a mug, okay, if I have a mug which is kept outside, okay, and it is having uh, say 80 degrees Celsius. And the surrounding temperature is say 27 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now what happens is that there is a heat exchange which is taking place. That is, heat from the mug is getting distributed, is getting exchanged to the surrounding. This is cooling. This is not refrigeration. So what is refrigeration? Refrigeration comes into play only when, only when we are able to make the mug at a temperature lower than the room temperature. Okay, so that is only possible by extracting heat from the from the mug. So what is happening here is cooling effect and not it is refrigeration effect. Okay, so you have to understand that cooling is different from refrigeration. Okay, so I hope this is clear. I talked about what is refrigeration or what are the applications and what is the difference between cooling and, and refrigeration effect. Okay, now another important unit which you will have to study before getting into depth on refrigeration is ton. Okay, ton is denoted by TR. Okay, so what is ton? So what is TR? Okay, it is defined as the amount of refrigeration effect which is produced by uniform melting of one ton of ice from and at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, now what does this statement mean? Okay. If a one ton of ice gets melt in 24 hours, okay, if one ton of ice which is kept at 0 degrees Celsius melts in 24 hours, we call it as one ton. Okay, so one ton is how much? It is 1000 into, one ton is how much? It is 1000, 1000 kilos, right? So 1000 kilos into 335 kilojoule which is the latent heat of ice. Okay, in 24 hours. So, if we, if we convert in mathematical terms, we say that it is 1000 into 335 by 24 into 3600, which is we are converting hours to second. So, when you divide this, we, in the end, we get as 3.5 kilojoule per second or 3.5 kilowatt. So, this is one ton of ice. Okay, so I, so I hope this is clear for you. This is a, a, a very small introduction to refrigeration. Okay, so only if you have a good understanding on the introduction, only then you can understand my coming videos on, on the refrigeration effects and the following applications regarding to refrigeration. 
So uh, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get an instant notification on my coming videos. Thank you.